Riding bareback can be so much fun. And for many of us, it brings back the memories of just running around out in the fields or around the arena with your horse and your pony, just uh, carefree and just having a ton of fun. And there are some definite benefits to riding bareback beyond just the fact that it's a lot of fun. Uh, but there's some cons too. There's some cons for us as riders and also, and maybe most importantly for our horses. So today I wanna talk about how to ride bareback and also what those pros and cons are. Callie, this is my horse Noel, and you're watching our weekly show here at Horse Class. So uh, the benefits of riding bareback are pretty obvious. For one, it's just fun. It feels good, especially right now in the winter as we're filming this. Noel's nice and warm, and it feels good to sit on her. She also is built really nicely for bareback riding in that she's got a wide, uh, well-bustled back, and she's just quite round in general right now. If you have a horse that doesn't have a lot of back muscling, has a really prominent withers or spine, and you're uncomfortable, your horse is probably going to be just as uncomfortable with you sitting up there bareback. Riding bareback also has some benefits for our position in that it can improve balance. Because we're just sitting, we don't have as much to grip against with our thighs, and also we don't have the stirrups um, to brace or to push against either. But on the other hand, it has some drawbacks. A well-fitted saddle for horse and for rider helps to kind of marry the two, um, the horse's back with our fork of our seat. The saddle helps to lift the rider up so that we don't have to be spread so far through our hips. That means less pressure on our hip joints and it also means that our leg is able to hang in a more aligned position. When we ride bareback, we have more pressure out here, again, especially on a round horse like Noel that I'm riding, which means that your leg is also going to end up with the knee pointing more out instead of straight forward. You'll see that too, and that my toe is hanging out and it, my leg is naturally going to go more forward Then I'm not going to have that, um, that ankle hip line that we do when we're riding with good alignment and good posture in a saddle. The other thing that can happen, I'll just turn her a little bit here, is that the saddle also is, um, the seat of the saddle is shaped to um, fit our pelvis, to fit a, a human pelvis in that sitting position to maintain the natural curves of our back as we're sitting. When we sit bareback, there can be a tendency to let the top of the pelvis roll too far back, which over rounds our back and creates this slumping forward um, through our chest and through our shoulders. So when you are riding bareback, think about still um, lifting yourself so that you're not just rolling back and putting too much weight back and losing that good alignment. With your legs, however, don't try to force your leg into the same position it would be in in your saddle. Allow your leg to hang and just know that it's gonna find um, at kind of that curvature part of the horse's rib cage where it can just naturally hang and settle in. You can also find as you're riding bareback, just experiment a little bit with if you move a little forward or a little bit back and you'll find the place where it's just most comfortable to sit and where you feel most balanced in your horse's movement. Now, one of the big cons of riding bareback is we have to remember that we are putting point pressure on the horse's back. No matter how round you think your posterior is, we're still putting point pressure and that pressure is more concentrated where our sit bones are. And that means that those are two small points of pressure on the horse's back, whereas our saddles are designed to um, spread that pressure out across the panels. There have been studies that show that the horse's back can start to actually show signs of damage from that pressure within just 20 minutes. So if you do ride bareback, make sure that you ride in short periods. And finally, use your common sense. If it, you struggle with your balance in a saddle, if you have a horse that's a little unpredictable or you don't know if they've been ridden bareback before, if you're just getting into riding and maybe you don't have that body awareness yet, riding bareback probably isn't the best way to start. So make the wise choice for yourself, also for your horse. And if you do ride bareback, keep those simple postural tips in mind to um, have a great time and have fun. Now, Noel and I would love to hear from you. 
What is your favorite bareback riding memory? Leave it in the comments down below. And if you're watching this anywhere besides horseclass.com, go there for hundreds of free videos like this one. And also for a full selection of courses to help you wherever you are in your riding and horsemanship and training journey. Thank you so much for watching.